Okay, Fritzy there, steam dryer. This, here's the model number. And you can see this door could become sloppy if it, it goes sort of up and down a little bit here. And the doors become so sloppy that they're not lining up properly. And if you look at the hinges, you can see that these are tight. I've already tried to tighten up these. Sometimes you can get by by just tightening up these screws and you'd be good. This one here, uh, the hinge is starting to go on it. I may be able to put some Teflon tape in there and lube that and make that uh, get by for a short time. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just take this thing apart and clean it out, look at it, lube the rollers, and just do a general checkout on it. Here's the troubleshooting text sheet. Looks like someone's been in this already. You can see there's a lot of lint built up in here. The lint built up usually means poor flow. And if we look down in here, you can see a little bit of lint built up in there. And what probably happened is because this thing was loose, it uh, somehow they pulled this seal off. So the seal's been, uh, it's come off and uh, I'm gonna have to add lib on this. I'm gonna probably take some weather stripping and put it on here and make that work that way. Okay, so there's these two screws on the back, then these two screws here, and there's two screws in the front. Okay, so I got this off, and there's a couple of zip ties on these things. This zip tie, this is a, a wire harness keeper thing, and it's like, you can't really get it off. You basically gotta pull it off, yank it off, they got zip ties on these wires and stuff. Basically, I managed to salvage that zip tie, but uh, um, if you don't have a tool to take the zip ties on you off, you'll have to cut them off. Well, you see, this is, this is not too bad inside. There's a lot of lint built up around the outside, which again indicates poor flow. So they probably have a restricted vent pipe and it causes this lint to back up. And you can see they've gone through these, these door latches, quite a few. What else do we have here? Quite a few of these door latches because that hinge has become sloppy and does not line up and tears these things apart. This, this part here is actually a noise dampener. I believe it's a noise dampener for the barrel or the drum. And that normally goes on the outside of this drum or could have been stuck here. Some models, they have it on the drum. And what happens is these things will come loose, they'll flap against the drum and cause noises. Let's see, that one's come off. And so also they had the lint filter actually broke. So I've JD welded it. And what I did is it's got this little channel in here. So I stuck a nail in there and JD welded it. And let's see, what else? Oh, this thing here, this thing here is open to the air. So it's gonna be sucking cold air right in through there. I don't really understand why they do this. Maybe it's an engineer design. You can see that that light looks like it's shot too. Looks like an old fashioned Christmas light. <clears throat> so yeah, that, that right there is sucking in cold air, unfiltered cold air. So it's recycling the dust and running it back through the system again right there what I normally do is uh, put some uh, metal tape over this plug it up as much as I can now we can check the rollers the rollers are all good supposedly that door, that door hinge and you can see we got quite a bit of lint built up not too much a lot on the side here possibly indicating a blower leak got fabric softener or something on it. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot of lint in here. You can see where the drum is scraped here. For some reason, what happens usually, if you put stuff on top of your dryers and they put pressure on this to bend in and scrape, you'll hear these weird noises. And or it could be that little flapper. The little flapper, like I said, sometimes they put them on the drum. It's 
actually. No, it's not on the drum. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can see this one broke. Maybe it got stuck on the drum and went around for a little while. There's quite a bit of lint here. Hair. Stuff. And usually, rather than blow this stuff all around, I just, if you have a vacuum, that's good. The easiest way for me is just to dust it off. Okay, so this door, uh, just basically had this bolt holding it on. There, there was no nut. There looks like there was never a nut on that. Can you imagine that? So going back and forth like this, this nut would come loose. And it would throw this whole thing off. That just needed to be tightened up right there. I'm going to try and find a bolt to put on that. And hopefully that will never happen again. And you can see that the guy that I got it from never really figured out how this thing lines up because inside the dryer it was like a collection of these little door inserts and so to get this off, all I had to do is take these screws off here these are special security torques you leave those on it holds the glass in and so there's my wind filter fix and uh, I still have to do something with the seal because uh, that seal fell off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I teach a course on how to repair appliances. I take two students a year and uh, I give a year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos. If you're interested, you can contact me for that. I also uh, give phone advice for $25, 707-443-8347 Pacific Island.